Hey guys, Dave from Mountaintop Living. I've got to have a hard conversation with you. So let's get that out of the way and then we'll get to the point of this video. But before that, don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you don't uh, miss new videos coming out. So we've been together for a while now. Uh, you've met my friends and my family. Uh, we've kind of shared holidays and birthdays together. Uh, it's really hard for me to say this, but you have to go. No, it's not Angie. It's this guy. This guy's got to go. This is not another beard video. So let's get that out of the way right now. But stick around till the end and we'll have some fun while I remove it. Well, there it is, guys. Me and my baby face. So why did I shave? How many of you guys have more than one job? I'm assuming there's a bunch of you. So leave a comment, tell me what your side job is. I've had more than one job most of my life. Whether you want to call it a side job or a hustle, I'm not really uh, too keen on the word hustle. Kind of uh, doesn't seem like I'm working as hard as I am. I think uh, I work a lot harder than a hustle. So as you can see, I'm wearing one of my hoodies. So one of my side hustles is beekeeping and selling honey. But the bees don't really care whether I have a beard or not. I didn't shave for them. So back to why did I shave? One of my side jobs that keeps me as busy as I want to be, and I kind of have to tend to turn down more work than I can keep up with, requires me to wear a respirator. Now this was my first career, and most of the tools that you're going to see in this video are 25 years old or more, but they all serve me well still. So what am I still talking about? I was an automotive painter, but not just any kind of automotive painter. Sure, I worked on cars, but it's mostly heavy equipment and machinery, tractor trailers, bulldozers, cement trucks, stone crushers, anything big and heavy that's what I painted. So when I left my very good job when I was 30 years old to go back to college, that's how I was able to not have to go find a part-time non-paying job, is I worked that skill and I kept as busy as I wanted to be. And then 18 years after that, here we are, and I'm still doing that little side job every once in a while. And that's part of the reason I'm standing in this, in this very house, because I've continued to have those little hustles or those little side jobs, and that helped pay for this house. I'm not, I'm not the kind of person that comes home and says, boy, I wish I had that. I'm the kind of guy that comes home and says, I am gonna have that. How do I do it? And then I figure it out. So really this video is all about the importance of maintaining a skill that you had 30, 40 years ago. Because sure, you can say you never want to do that again. That job sucks. Sure it does. At the time. It's, to me, it's super important to always be willing to say yes. If you can help somebody else out, they're helping you out in your wallet. So keep those skills up. Keep the, the hustle up or the side job or whatever you want to call it. So here's a quick video of me painting a freight liner. It's just a color change. It's no big deal. Uh, so I know there's a bunch of critics out there. Uh, this is just a color change. There's a thousand ways that it could have been done better or different. Uh, so the customer was super happy with it. 
he's going down the road with it. And don't forget to stick around for the beard shave video at the end. Let's go see if Angie likes it. Oh, hell no. I guess not. It was worth a try. I mean, I'm thinking late 80s. Let's Really appreciate you guys sticking around. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit the like button.